This time on the show, chaining proxies with Proxy Chain, plus your viewer emails. All that and more this time on Hack 5. This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by the 2013 Ford Mustang. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. It's your weekly dose of Technolust. Dude, guess what I did this weekend? Uh-oh, what? I found an Ewok. I went to Mirror Woods uh -huh. and a freaking redwood trees. I went inside of redwood and then I climbed around some like huge mountain and found a open field and grassy plains and it was very naturistic. You found the nature. I found the nature. But at the same time, you found the stormtroopers and the Ewoks. Exactly. Popped. Proud of yeah, you. Yeah, they ran away though, so I couldn't catch their names or take yeah? pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. They were way too fast for me. I climbed a mountain. You did. Yeah, yeah. Which twenty twenty seven hundred feet. Um, in Pinnacles National Monument. I wonder how far I Three hours up. south? Yeah. I went like four, four yeah. hour or four miles. It was like yeah, This was a six mile with hard. like hella elevation. Hell elevation, as we say in the Bay Area. Yeah. yeah totally it was from vertical. Oakland. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I hella love Oakland. <laughs> hella. Well, you know what? We got a hella cool gift. Did we really? Yeah, we All did. Right. Let, let's bust it open. What we get? I have not seen this. I think you might like this actually. Ooh, it's a sharp electronic organizer, <laughs> 256K. I am include, cl enclosing one of the first PDAs circa 1990. I had a cable to sync with a DOS PC. I, <gasps> I doubt it would be useful today. If you power up though, please erase all the data. Enjoy. And this is from Eric. Oh man, oh look! It's his little black book with all his girlfriends. I should call them. <laughs> oh yeah. No, it, it doesn't turn on. But we're gonna find some batteries for this. This is this is awesome. It's got hey, it's got a calendar and a world clock <laughs> and memos. Oh, oh there's yeah. a do list. Oh yeah. Dude, this is wicked. This is this is going with the others. This is That's so super fantastic. Cute. I love this. Yeah, it's got like the memory slots slots in there. I love that it's got like the plastic finish has like this faux leather oh, kind of like oh pattern on it. That's pretty Dude, it's the 90s rad. had the best tech. This is ridiculous. Thank you so much. Appreciate <laughs> that. 548 Market Street, number 39371, San Francisco, California, 94104. Um, we are getting into some, some fun proxy We're chain chaining proxies. We're with an awesomely named tool. Called Proxy Chain. That's the one. What? And so, get this, right? Have you ever been watching that movie where like, uh, here, let me see if I can draw this out. We got a little, uh, and then there's some of that going, and then some uh, comes around, and then there's a golf, and then there's the Canada hat. I think hat. Paul wanted to censor whatever you were drawing. And then there's <laughs> there's that thing, and then one of these, and then there's that big thing. And oh, so this is supposed to be the world. You don't see it? Well, in that case, you need some water. Oh, yeah. There uh, we go. Thanks. All right. Yeah. Also, you like my uh, South America? It's, nice. it's fantastic. Oh, and here's Serafina. Yeah, there's, oh yeah, yeah, you gotta, oh <laughs> hey, you have to check out, Paul, we gotta play just a little clip of the uh, Hungry Riders teaser, because Hungry our friends Riders. Serafina uh, and Aaron are going on an epic motorcycle road trip, you guys know how I feel about motorcycle road trips, and they are doing the big one all the way from right here, and they're probably gonna do that yeah. all the way to, to right there, Argentina so, or something to Argentina, please. so you, you need to check this out, take a look. on our honeymoon. Where? We're not going to go to New Zealand. We're not going to go to um, the Alps. We're going to go to Argentina. From here? Riding motorcycles. Like the whole way? For Whoa! What a fun thing! What a fun thing! What? She's going to drive her motorcycle to Buenos Aires. That's South. what my friend did this trip, man. Are you going to then take the bike on a boat and go Possibly. I would. Just, just keep going. Out, Okay, so we're not going to be motorcycling down to Argentina. However, we can bounce our traffic through Argentina. As you guys know, 
we've been talking about SSH for the last couple right. of weeks, and you know, we, we talked about the, uh, the the tunnels as they were, and so how we could create a tunnel. And my geography is horrible, but we'll say it's right there. And so <laughs> we could send our traffic here in the San Francisco Bay Area through this tunnel, and then it goes out onto the internet from our server in Argentina or whatever. Right. right? Well. Here's the thing, you can actually do, have you ever like VNC'd or remote desktop into a machine mm -hmm. because it was the only machine that was able to see another machine and then from within that machine you ah. VNC to another machine and then from with that machine and yeah. next thing you know your connection's like getting really, really bad. Incredibly lagged, yeah. I used to have to do that and it was it was pretty bad. But, really? um Well, yeah, because VPNs can Luckily, get Luckily I don't run into that problem pretty much ever. I think anybody that's done enough sys administration will, will attest to the fact that they have actually VNC'd into a machine to VNC into a machine. So just <laughs> admit it, right? We've all been there. VMs, yeah, no joke, right? Thanks, Paul. And so we've also all seen that movie where mm -hmm. like, you know, like uh, I think actually a really great example is the one with Robert Redford, uh, Sneakers. Oh, so it's okay. like the one where it's like suddenly, oh, we're tracking satellites and we, you know, we got this hop and then that hop and yeah. it's like, quick, you can't stay on the phone with the feds too long or they're going to track us back to our evil oh, base, no. right? Right. And so yeah. what we can do is, you know, from our server over here in Argentina, we can create another one over here to Greenland or Iceland or whatever and just be like, whoop. And then from there, we can have a server where we're like, you know what, let's, let's go across the pond again, come over here to the British Isles and then we can even... Do another one from there, where we're like, hey, we're going to Kenya. Darren's geography is really horrible because that's over here. <laughs> and then next thing you know, our traffic is like originating in San Francisco, and it's all like whoop, 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 whoop. Nice. How fun is that? And what's also fun about all of this is if you're really smart about it, and you buy all of these servers with like, um, like Visa or MasterCard or American Express gift cards that you can buy oh, in cash at yes. like convenience stores, or if you use like eGold or Bitcoins mm -hmm. or different things like that, you could potentially have some layers of anonymity mm -hmm. in that uh, this server knows this server, but this server doesn't know that server, right. that server knows this server, but it doesn't know this one. And you know, much like the Tor network, you can create a chain of different proxies. Hence that, the name, proxy chain. That's the idea. Cool. And so that's one of the things that we're going to be setting up today, and we're just gonna use it to be able to access our machine, but much like we've talked about with SSH is so versatile with mm -hmm. like those dynamic proxies. Yeah. We could literally make it so that our web traffic goes through this huge set of peers and back to us. And I don't know, that's just fun. It looks a little bit confusing. Nah, it's actually, it's just a matter of SSHing from your SSH to your SSH with some SSH. Uh, so timely? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> All right, well, stay tuned because in just a bit, we're going to be doing just that in Backtrack 5 Linux. But first, we're going to take a quick break. Over the past few years, Ford has made an aggressive effort to be at the forefront of automotive technology, and those efforts are on full display in the sweet green 2013 Mustang that they sent us to check out. It connects directly to your phone, allowing you to make hands-free calls, launch apps, and even post tweets while on the move, something I've always wanted to do. This got us to thinking, how would you utilize or add to the technology Ford is putting in vehicles today? Driving playlists sourced from your friend's Spotify accounts? A built-in solid-state drive that backs your phone up every time it's in range? Hmm. Send us your ideas and we'll feature one or two in an upcoming episode. Thanks again to Ford for sponsoring the show today and for their commitment to technology. 